All right, so one of the most common type of word problems that algebra students face is mixture problems. And these problems tend to confuse uh, a lot of students and it can be a little bit confusing. So what I have for you here is a visual of an actual uh, mixture word problem. I wanna show you in just one second, but I'm gonna kind of uh, simplify the problem in a visual manner. Okay, so basically what these mixture problems are about is you have two different solutions or two different mixtures and we want to know how much of this and how much of this do we need to mix or combine to get a different solution okay the, obviously the uh, result of mixing these two solutions so in this particular um, problem what we want is a mixture of 12.5 percent acid now uh, we're going to be talking about hydrochloric acid, but uh, that's not really important right now. I just want to focus on the big picture, right? So we want 12.5% hydrochloric acid, and we want a certain amount of ounces of this solution. And what we have to work with is 5% hydrochloric acid or 5% acid. So this is a solution with a little bit of acid. And this uh, solution right here has more acid, has 20% acid. So we want to um, figure out how many ounces of this and this do we need to mix together in order to get a certain amount of ounces of 12.5% uh, acid. Okay, so this is the gist of these mixture problems. Now, I'm actually going to show you the actual uh, problem right now, but I wanted you to have a visual sense of what the problem represents. Okay, so let's take a look at the actual problem, and you would encounter something like this uh, in your homework, test, or exams. Okay, so here we go, uh, and the question is, how many ounces of 5% hydrochloric acid and 20% hydrochloric acid must be combined to get 10 ounces of a solution that is 12.5% hydrochloric acid? All right, so effectively, that uh, word problem is essentially, you know, um, from a visual sense, basically what we're looking at right here. Now, I would encourage you to take notes. I'm going to show you the solution to this problem right now because if you can figure out how to solve one of these, well, then anytime you run into a mixture problem, they're pretty much going to be uh, kind of the same uh, way. But uh, in one moment here, I'm going to show you the full solution to this problem. But uh, if you need additional help with algebra beyond uh, this particular um, video, then I'm gonna encourage you to uh, do two things. One, I have a ton of algebra pro uh, videos on my YouTube channel to include word problems, but uh, word problems are a result or really an application of the skills that you develop learning algebra. And if you really wanna learn algebra, then check out my full main math courses. You'll find links to those in the description. So for this level of math that we're talking about in this video, you want to check out like my, my full Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 uh, courses. All right, so uh, with all that being said, if you want to try the prom, uh, you may want to just, as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and show you the actual prom here just in case you want to pause the video and try it on your own. So here it is, but I'm going to show you the full solution in just one second. But remember, uh, I would encourage you to take notes because there is going to be oh, a fair amount of detail in the solution. All right, so what's going on again, right? Well, so let's just, you know, again, we we're reading it. So we're saying how many ounces we got of a five, we got a 5% hydrochloric acid. All right, that's like one container. And we have 20% of hydrochloric acid. So think about it. So you got like two solutions here, right? Here's like the 5% and we got the 20%. And we don't know how many ounces though, but we want to combine these two together, right? Uh, to get uh, to give us 10 ounces of a 12.5 uh, percent solution. Okay, now what it means to have 5 percent means like here that 5 percent of this little jar, for example, would be hydrochloric acid. That's what that is talking about. And over here, 20 percent of this one. So we're talking about combining two, you know, jars, if you will. Think of it, you know, visually that way. Uh, when we combine these, we want to get uh, one. That's obviously the 5 percent. Um, is going to become stronger if you add 20% to it. And if you add 5% to the 20%, that's going to dilute that down. So we should be able to get a 12.5% solution of hydrochloric acid. But, you know, how much of these two things uh, must uh, must, me, 
I can't even speak here, um, must we add? There you go. See, we slow things down. I can get the words out. All right, but so let's go ahead and um, read the question again one more time, just to make sure, in fact, that this is the scenario. Okay, so how many ounces of 5% uh, hydrochloric acid and 20% hydrochloric acid must be combined to get 10 ounces of a solution that is 12.5% hydrochloric acid? So when we combine these two guys together, what we're looking for is a final little jar here of 10 ounces, okay, at 12.5% hydrochloric acid all right this is what we're going for now i know this is five percent this one okay and i know this is twenty percent but i don't have the ounces i don't know how many ounces that's what the question is i'm um, asking right how many ounces of this one and how many ounces of this one so we're talking about two uh different variables two different unknowns okay i'm trying to find the ounces of the five percent and how many ounces of the twenty percent so we're going to need two variables here and any time in algebra you have two separate variables involved uh, that you need to be thinking about uh, systems of equations, systems. Okay, so this is, in fact, a system word problem. And uh, if you uh, kind of like were able to figure that out before we even got into this, well, then that's excellent. Okay, all right. So um, let's go ahead and assign our variables. And I got a model here, a table here, but um, even this little kind of you know, uh, writing out this little scribble scratch, this little jars, any kind of visual thing that kind of helps you understand what's going on, that is a, uh, a model, okay? You could have done this differently. You could have made a, made this neater, but I'm kind of working in these little areas. But now let's go ahead and sign our, our variable. So how about we let X equal to the number of ounces we need of this 5% solution, okay? So in order to create this 12.5%, we're going to uh, let X equal the number of ounces of the 5% solution we're going to need, and then we'll let y, okay, equal the number of ounces of the 20% solution. Okay, so let's let our variables um, uh, represent the number of ounces of each type because that's, in fact, what the question is asking. How many ounces of the 5%? Okay, well, let's let a variable represent that. And how many ounces of the 20%? So let's let a variable represent that. And that's... Um, um, really important in algebra and algebra word problems is you should let your variables rep obviously represent the unknown in the problem, okay? All right, so now with mixture problems, it's very, very uh, typical uh, to build a table. Always keep a table um, in mind in terms of algebra word problems. They come in super handy, and uh, let's just review again. X is the number of ounces of the 5% solution, and Y is the number of ounces of the 20% solution. Now let's go to this table. So uh, now this takes practice, and again, uh, what I'm getting at in the beginning of the video is if you know how to solve one type of mixture problem, then you can kind of use the same technique, the same strategy, and other type of uh, mixture problems, okay? So let's take a look at how you would want to organize uh, this table. So the first thing I have here is the kind of solution. Well, what kind of solutions are we dealing with? Well, we got a 5% solution. We have a 20% solution, okay? And then, obviously, we're going to end up with a 12.5% solution. Now, uh, ounces of the solution, okay? Well, I don't know how many ounces of 5% uh, solution. That's part of the question, right? I don't know how many ounces of this 5% solution that we're going to need. Okay, but we're going to figure that out. So that's our variable X. How many ounces of the 20% solution? Well, that's our variable Y. Okay. And then how many ounces of this 12.5% uh, solution? Well, we know that we want 10 ounces. Okay, so that's why we have a 10 in there. All right, now how many ounces of acid? Now remember, the solution is the entire like jar. Okay, so right down here, if this is this right here would be like say 12. 0.5%. It's not the entire, this is this whole thing is the solution. This is the amount of acid in it, okay? So um, let's take a look at this first one. So if I have a 5% solution, okay, how many, whatever ounces I have uh, of it, the total solution, how many ounces of acid? Well, which is multiply 5% by that solution, okay, the total ounces, and I would get that. So of course, I'm going to turn 5% uh, into a decimal. So 0.05 times this 
um, number of ounces of solution would be the amount of acid I would have in that uh, solution. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you. So uh, here, that's 0.05x. And then over here, this 20% uh, sol uh, solution, okay, 20% acid, how many ounces of acid in that solution? Well, it would be 0.20, okay, 20% of the number of ounces of that total solution, which is Y ounces. So that's 0 0.20Y. Uh, and then here, uh, how many um, ounces of acid do I have in this 12.5% solution? If I have 10 ounces, well, I'm just gonna take this 12.5%, convert it to a decimal, that's 0.125, uh, multiplied by 10. That's exactly how many ounces of acid I have, okay? All right, now, I'm pretty much organizing everything I know about the situation in this table. Now, the next step here, okay, is that we need to build some equations. And because we're dealing with two different variables here, x and y, you're going to need two equations. You just not get, you can't just have one equation. Uh, we're going to need two equations because we have two variables. Again, we're going to be dealing with a system. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, some relationships that we know. All right, well. Here, the first one is x plus y is equal to 10. Well, if I'm going to take some uh, this 5% solution and I'm going to add it to the ounces of this 20% solution, well, I know the total, when I get done with this, I'm going to end up with 10 ounces. Okay, so that's what I know. I need to um, add some amount of the 5% and some amount of the 20%, but when I add these together, guess what? You're going to get 10, right? So that's one uh, equation, and hopefully you were able uh, to see that. All right, now how about the acid? Well, the acid's the same thing, okay? Um, this amount of acid that uh, we have in the 5% that we're going to be adding, okay, with this ounces of solution, uh, plus this amount of acid, from the 20% is going to, uh, in total, end up to be this uh, total amount of acid right here. So we can basically use the same idea. And this is the amount of acid uh, in the 5% solution uh, that we're going to be adding. This is the amount of acid in the 20% solution, but we'll end up with this amount right here. That would be the 12.5% per percent um, of that 10 ounces in that final solution. So if you're kind of a little bit confused, make sure, you know, go back and review, think about it. Um, again, mixture problems, in fact, are a little bit confusing. All right. So if you're a little bit confused, that's kind of normal, but you're going to encounter mixture problems in algebra. I can assure you. All right. All right. So now if you got your bearings, uh, what we have to do is now solve this system. Okay. So what's going on here? We have two equations and two variables, x and y, x and y. So this is a system, all right? So now you need to know how to solve linear systems, and we're talking about the substitution method, the linear combination method, elimination method, etc. all that kind of good stuff. All right, now let's get right uh, to it. And the first thing, uh, let's just focus now on this problem as a system. So we have x plus y is equal to 10, 0 0.05 x plus 0 0.20 y. Uh, 0.20 times y is equal to 1. Uh, 0.125 times 10. Hopefully I'm not misspeaking here. And now we can just concentrate on the system. So the first thing is, you know, we see these decimals and they're kind of bugging us, right? So you're like, you know what? Let's just get rid of these uh, decimals. So how can I get rid of these decimals? What can help us out? Well, let's just multiply this entire equation by 100. Now, when you're dealing with systems, you can, um, you can do this. You're allowed to, uh, to multiply the, an entire uh, equation by the same number. As long as you multiply both the left and right hand side, you're not going to break it. You're just going to make it look different, right? And what I want to do is just get away from the decimals and work with a nice uh, integer whole uh, numbers if we can. So if we multiply by 100, I know I'm going to be able to uh, get rid of these guys right here. So let's go ahead and do that. We're just making this problem easier, right? Uh, you could work, you could use the decimals and work with them, but you know, we'll try to work smarter and not harder. All right, so this what um, is the consequences of multiplying by 100 when I multiply this line in the system or that uh, particular equation by 100, you get this, okay? And I much rather work with this than the decimals. Okay, so at this point. You have your choices, whether you want to use the substitution method or the elimination method. In other words, you could solve for X or Y and uh, 
you know, for those of you that want to just kind of practice your systems right now and want to try a different technique than what I'm doing, then that's perfectly fine. Actually, I encourage you to do that. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the elimination and combination method. Now, if you're uh, struggling with any of this stuff, uh, just check out uh, my videos in my algebra uh, playlist on systems. I cover uh, systems pretty thoroughly. But if you really want to master this, you definitely, you know, uh, I would suggest like my algebra one course and really, really get get into this stuff pretty deeply. Okay, so I'm going to multiply this top equation by a negative five because if I can get a negative five right here, okay, then I can eliminate these x variables. Again, I don't want to digress too much and turn this into a whole lesson on systems. Okay, make sure you know how to solve systems. So, but I am kind of explaining this. So I want a negative five right there. So I'm gonna multiply this entire top equation by negative five. And again, I could do that, but I gotta multiply everything by negative five. So what does that look like? Okay, well, I'll end up with a negative five X there, a negative five Y there, and then this 10 turns into negative 50. Now, I can uh, go ahead and uh, do this elimination or combination method. I'm going to add down in a column manner. And when I do that, these guys go away. And that's exactly what I wanted. Okay. And negative 5 plus 20y, positive 20y, is 15y. And negative 50 plus 125 is 75. And now I could solve for uh, a y by dividing both sides of the equation by 15. And I get y is equal to 5. Okay, so we're almost there, and now I need to go get uh, x, right? So I have y, so we have two variables. So we can use any equation that we had in the system, okay? So I'll use this one, x plus y uh, is equal to 10 to solve uh, for x. Now that I know that y is equal to 5, I could just replace this y with this 5, okay, to solve for x. And that's what I'm going to do right here. So I have x plus 5 is equal to 10, and of course, when you solve that, Nice, lovely equation. You get x is equal to 5. All right, so we are done solving the equation. x is uh, equal to 5, and y is also equal to 5. But what does this represent? Well, remember, x and y represented the amount of uh, solution, the ounces of solution that we need to make this 12.5% uh, uh, acid solution at 10 ounces. So effectively, we're going to need 5 ounces of the 5% solution combined with five ounces, right? This is our X and Y of the 20% solution. That's what's required to get 10 ounces of a 12.5% acid solution.